Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, Leo and I are going to test traditional German beers. We will also talk about German beer culture or like German culture in general. And we will also play a true or false game where I'm going to ask Leo, a person who was born and raised in Germany, some questions about German drinking culture and we will see <laughs> what he's going to answer. And also how well he knows his country. So without a further ado, let's directly start. Okay, which beer should we try first? Um, this one! This one, okay, let's try this one. Do you already know this beer? Have we ever bought it? No, never. No. <laughs> I don't know it. <laughs> you can already start the procedure and I will put the beer aside. Okay, what kind of beer is it? It is Keller mm. beer. Keller beer, actually you can translate it as uh, basement beer? Uh, Keller beer, yeah, basement beer. Basement beer, do you it know? It doesn't sound so sexy in English, but in, in German it sounds nice. Keller beer, okay. Keller beer. <laughs> basement, so basement. Basement beer. Basement beer. Let's see how it tastes. Natur You can try first. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it, it's good. Keller beer, which comes from Ulm. It is a um, city next to Stuttgart, maybe mm -hmm. like one and a half hours from Stuttgart. I would say as for the beer, like in a bottle, it tastes really good. Right? It's really light, it's not so bitter. And yeah, how, how else can we describe it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> you are a German. How can, how can yeah, you describe my, my this English beer? Vo vo vocabulary. vocabulary is not so advanced, so I cannot really describe it. You can just drink it. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I would say it's 7 out of 10 for me, this one. It's a 6 for me. It's a 6. Yeah. Okay. It's better than the average average beer yeah i would agree all right let's continue with beer number two which one would you prefer now let's take this one hefeweizen <laughs> you always ask me but i, I cannot decide anything so, so it's listen, my beer. channel i decide <laughs> it's beer that you're asking me <laughs> i think this is your favorite type of beer right hefeweizen yes so what you should know in germany um, if you're not a beer fan, like uh, being a, a beer is not really your, um, not really so much what you like, um, I can really recommend then for you to try Hefeweizen. So when you're in a restaurant or in a, a, a beer garden, then you can order a Hefeweizen from uh, from Fass. It's called draft beer. So draft beer, yeah. So you should know it's a huge difference if you order draft beer or a beer in a bottle a bottle or in a can a cane, a cane. so 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 the order so just that you really know so the worst taste you will have <laughs> doesn't matter what kind of beer you have will be in a cane in a can mm. in a can, mm -hmm. can. Mm -hmm. doesn't cane mm. a can in a can and then second would be bottle yeah and the best mm like ever will be always um in a draft beer draft. now leo is going to open the bottle okay what we do with all beer um yeah that's the thing that after we have tried like so much of every beer we will have seven opened bottles of beer at home that we will also have to drink <laughs> or we have to throw them away. Let's try it. Yeah. It tastes better than the first one for me personally. Mm -hmm. I like this one more but I would also say it's not the best beer you can you can buy. Like I've, I have already tried much better Hefeweizen <laughs> in my life. But it's, uh, yeah, it's fine. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, I would give it a seven. I think. Mm. It's not bitter at all. It's very light and kind of like a lemonade. <laughs> lemonade. <laughs> you can drink it. You know, you drink it and you don't really taste the bitterness. There's the no bitterness, bitterness or this typical beer taste. Yeah. It's, it's really light, so it's perfect for summer or. Yeah. So mm. <laughs> we like beer when it's not taste like beer. So that's all the secret. <laughs> So if you like like us, if you think about like mm, I don't like beer, um, go and try Hefeweizen. Doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't have to be this brand or just in general look for German Hefeweizen. So and I think you will be not disappointed. <laughs> Now I'm going to ask you your first question in our <laughs> game, true or false. You have to be 21 years old to legally buy and drink beer in Germany. Is it true or false? False. And why is it false? What do you think? What is actually the legal age when you can buy uh, beer or some other alcoholic drinks in Germany? At the age of 16, you are already allowed to drink alcohol. <laughs> this is... Everybody knows that, of course. <laughs> Especially the youth. The youth knows. <laughs> because the they already sec secretly um, starting drinking around the age of 12, 13, 14. If you are 16 in Germany, you can officially, legally buy beer sparkling wine and normal wine in any supermarket, a cafe, a restaurant or bar, you are yeah, officially allowed to do that. I think it is very different from all other countries in the world. Would you say that it's good or bad? I believe it's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how old were you when you tried your first beer or a glass of wine? 12 or 11 12? or 10 or <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> oh, alcohol, what, what was it? What is it? I want to try, I want to... Here, drink, drink, drink. Okay, Leo, now you can decide what beer we will try next. So I think I'm allowed maybe to decide between this one and this one. Yeah, this looks very, really fancy. We will once again use a glass which is actually not for this kind of beer. But as we said, we are just at home and we don't have enough special glasses for all kinds of beer. So let's take just this one and try this beer. This is called Lucky Experience. <laughs> fancy, fancy. Okay, let's open it. Yeah, and just to, to know, it's a Helles beer. Okay, let's try. Uh, I have to open it. Mm -hmm. Anja, do you know how to open? I can teach you how to open a bottle um, with a um, plastic bottle, Alina. <laughs> this is something you really have to know. Wait. This is something every boy and man have to, have to know. How to open uh, a bottle. A um, bottle of beer. A bottle, bottle after of beer. school. <laughs> <laughs> without a, a, a bottle open, open. opener. So, um, because actually... Um, why there's a lot of uh, situations where you really don't have <laughs> something like this. It's really like but this. But you really need to drink some beer. Yeah! Did you hear it was already? Great! Yeah, try, try uh. to do more like this. And Why more do tension. I need this skill? This Very time. important. And otherwise... Otherwise, you are not allowed to stay in the country longer. <laughs> tension, tension. Yeah! Did you see? So easy. You should pour every beer like this. You see? And now you also understand why it's called a light beer, a Helles beer, because the color. For example, here you have a Hefeweizen and the color is a little bit more... Dark. Hmm. It smells not good. Then it's a pilz. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but it really, the smell is really kind of disgusting. Mm. <laughs> what? It's trippy. It's not a lucky experience at all. <laughs> Maybe the lucky experience is after, after it, mm. because after five bottles, it will definitely be a lucky experience. But now not. It tastes. It smells like Red Bull. <laughs> 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 it's not so bad. It's not so bad. I I find it really bad. <clears throat> for me it's something that i would never buy again so actually i like this i like this beer a little bit better than this for example hmm. but for you this is until now the the worst yeah for worst me one. so how number three is the worst one number th uh, what what score would you Two out of ten. Two out of ten. Really bad. I don't like. Wow, <laughs> two of two out of ten. Leo, now you can uh, open the next bottle, and during this time, I will ask you the second question. And you have to concentrate now because it is about the statistics. According to statistics, an average German drinks around fifty liters of beer per year. What do you think? Is it true or false? 50 liters of beer per year. Per year? Yes. Or around 100 bottles. 100 bottles a year? Mm -hmm. 50 liters. I could even imagine that it's a little bit more. So I think it's false. Really? Mm. And yeah, it's false. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I couldn't believe it. But um, the official statistics show that an average um, German drinks around 90 liters of beer per year, which is 7.4 liters per month, which is 15 bottles per month. 15 bottles? Okay, that's much. That's we, a lot. We, we drink yeah. more wine. <laughs> yeah, we drink more wine. We actually don't buy beer for drinking at home at all. So we really like to go in a beer garden and then yeah, have a have a, which always have a great atmosphere and. And actually, what about the beer garden? How would you describe it? Wh what is it? It's home. It's home. <laughs> It's a paradise for Germans. <laughs> no, it's just, so it's just, just a garden. An outdoor, outdoor cafe just, or restaurant bar? Yeah, outdoor bar. It's nothing, nothing fancy. But outdoor where bar. you also go, not in the evening, but you can also go there during the day or sometimes even in the morning. <laughs> yeah, but you can also order non-alcoholic uh, stuff. So it's yeah. not like you can not can drink also coca-cola or something else and, and and then you can also order something to eat to eat and some traditional german food yeah, yeah. you can uh bratwurst so some kind of a german sausage or uh french fries yeah. or maybe a schnitzel and yeah there you can o usually order some draft beer like this yeah beer and, from Fass. and you have a lot of space so it's like a really, really small version, maybe of um, October of Fest. October Fest. <laughs> Only that not everybody is so drunk. Everybody is just <laughs> behaving normally, not drinking. Yeah, and usually uh, um, there are also a lot of families who also go there with their children or with the dogs. Yeah. So when it's summer, then we go to a beer garden, maybe um, once a week. Once a week, sometimes not so often, but we enjoy it. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice there. And what kind of beer are we trying now? Helles beer. And how is it? Uh, Mönz... Mönzhof. 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 <laughs> it's definitely better than the previous one for me. But I would also say it's maybe 6 out of 10. So what is your score for this beer? I, I didn't uh, taste it. <laughs> No, I don't like it so much. That's fine. It's four, five. 
but to be fair it's also really really warm now in the room where we are sitting because it's really hot outside and the beer that we are drinking is already not cold so it also doesn't really affect uh, the taste in a good way <laughs> Leo, now I want to ask you the second true or false question, which is really easy. But if you mix some citrus lemonade with some beer, you get a drink that is called Radler. Is it true or false? It's true. Yes, okay. <laughs> it was a really uh, easy question. But now let's also try one of the Radlers. So it is this typical German drink, which is also popular among like students or women because it tastes like lemonade. It is actually 50% of lemonade, but with some beer uh, inside, or maybe it's like 50-50 percentage of yeah, beer and no lemonade. Yeah, normally it's 50-50. And you can also actually just simply mix it at home when you <laughs> take some lemonade and mix it together with beer. So you can also try it as well if you don't like beer and for example you are a student who has just arrived to Germany and you go to this party where everyone drinks beer but you hate beer then you can order Radler <laughs> and then you will just drink this kind of beer lemonade. I already know that I will like it so yeah it tastes like lemonade it actually doesn't even taste like beer at all it always depends on the brand you you buy uh, but this one is yeah it's super light and it has only 2.1 percent of alcohol in it so yeah it is practically just a lemonade yeah and in germany you also call it mädchen beer <laughs> so girls beer um, and sometimes men make fun of you when you drink as a man when you order like I want to have a Radler then it's like you know you're in a bar and you order a milkshake without alcohol <laughs> so um, sometimes <laughs> people or the barkeeper will make fun of, of you I have now noticed that we still have two beers left to yeah. try <laughs> you should just see this side of the table because it's full of open bottles and beer that we have to drink <laughs> today <laughs> so now let's maybe try this beer mm -hmm. i bought it just because of the bottle design because i think it's so pretty <laughs> but i'm not sure that it tastes good especially because there you can see this bio um, sign and usually all alcohol drinks that have this bio sign are not good at least that's my <laughs> experience yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really. it when always you see, tastes like, shitty when you um, see this sign like organic or in german it's bio I'm pretty sure this will be the worst beer we are <laughs> trying today. But now first let's try before we judge. And actually the next topic I want to discuss with you is if you are a tourist who comes to Germany for the first time or you have just moved to Germany and you want to, you know, get used to German culture, explore it and you want to try some German beer, where should you go? Like where can you find go it? buy it try it go in a german beer garden or of course when it's not summer then um, it will be inside so go to a, a traditional tradition. german restaurant yeah just, it doesn't have to be uh, ad advertised like traditional just where you get f uh, german food like where you, you will see it it's the the outside or, or of the restaurant or the beer how you call it bar um, and there um, so if you order beer never never ever um, order a beer in a bottle never ever do that it would just um, be so uh, such a shame long story short, <laughs> long story if, short you if you want to try some authentic real German beer and you are for the first time in Germany in the 
best case scenario you go to a beer garden right yeah uh, if it is not Fun. summer and the beer gardens are not open then you go to an authentic german uh, restaurant and it shouldn't be a fancy place it should be just a um, restaurant where you can order traditional german food and yeah. there you will always have this draft beer uh, which always tastes really really good yeah never order bottle beer always order draft beer that's that's the only thing you should remember <laughs> the <really>. only secret <laughs> yeah. and if you are just um yeah a person who doesn't want to go to a bar or to a restaurant and you just want to buy some beer uh, to drink it at home then you should go to a supermarket and don't go to aldi or lidl or other discount supermarkets yeah, don't do it. there are a lot of discount supermarkets in germany you know aldi lidl uh, norma netto there you won't be able to find good beer yeah because also they always nearly uh, always they have a beer in a plastic bottle can. or yeah in a plastic bottle or, uh, or in a can yeah and, and it um, tastes it's not good. The, 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 the taste horrible it's <laughs> it's really it's really funny because you never would imagine that it uh, makes such a big difference b such yeah? a uh, such a big deal but it, it is it really is so um bottle bottle is only what you should buy mm, of course there are some people who like say oh, uh, cane beer or can can beer can beer is what I need or <laughs> but I, I need. no but but it's, the taste is horrible just just to make sure that you understand with draft beer we also really mean beer that is storaged in a barrel in a huge barrel and uh, nobody of course you can order for yourself at home a, a huge barrel yeah, <laughs> but nobody does do it. Uh, only if he is uh, alcoholic I, I believe but uh, so what we just want to tell you and what's really important to know that beer when you drink beer when you get uh, get beer out of a barrel instead of a bottle it's tastes so much better it's really a, a huge a, it's a huge difference and so that's why you always should order in a restaurant draft beer or yeah beer that beer from fast so fast you should always <coughs> say beer from fast yeah and then they will know exactly what you mean yeah and you will see that the the, the um waiter the mm -hmm. waiter will uh, of course they have then this you know this is this machine this machine <laughs> sh then you know for sure it's beer from a barrel it's not from a bottle and yeah. they will just bring you a glass without yeah. a bottle without so a bottle you will, so you will know if it. they bring you a bottle then just run away <laughs> <laughs> and if you just want to buy some beer for drinking at home then you should go to Rewe or Edeka or Kaufland or some other a uh, big supermarket not the discount one but the normal <laughs> supermarket and there you will have like hundreds of different types of beer you can choose from and there just uh, always have a look at the yeah at the bottle and there you will see like what type of beer it is Hefeweizen or Helles or Pils or something else like in this case we don't even know what it is um, yeah just go there and you will find beer you like now it's time for us to try this one yeah you, you will see how you open it and you can then also close it once again if you haven't finished it yeah so that that's actually really great um especially for us now who have seven open bottles of yeah, beer so you can <laughs> just really you can just close can it close it again um yeah let's try it <coughs> mm. it's good okay it's a little bit more bitter than hefeweizen or helles beer yeah you don't like it i think it tastes good i don't like it at all <laughs> <laughs> okay would you say that it's um pills or is it let, let's actually read what it is it's helles yeah it's, it's helles but it it's something more between helles and pills yeah it's, like it's, it's called special beer 
So it's uh, it must be a special offer. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I wouldn't say that it's awful, but it's much more bitter than the beer we usually uh, prefer. So yeah, it's uh, for yeah, it's me. Interesting. It's, it's an seven interesting out thing. of ten. I would really? say. Really? Yeah, mm. I think it tastes really interesting. It, it's yeah, it's interesting. So it's better taste for me like a pills. But still, I don't, I don't like it. Yeah. And the last beer we have for today is actually another Radler. So this mix of lemonade and beer. And we have never tried this brand before, I'm really sure. And it's also a very small bottle. You see an expert who drinks beer since he's 16 or 15 maybe. <laughs> That's the only and thing how I got all the girls. <laughs> and now that's how you that's how you impressed German girls. Now I still have one more question for you in our game true or false and I'm sure it will also be really easy for you to answer but still it's legal to drink beer in public places like streets and parks in Germany. Is it true or false? It's true. It's actually true which I found very surprising when I first came to Germany and you could see how people just sit in the park and drink beer. You know, they hold a bottle like this and they drink it or wine. There are also people who just, um, yeah, do a picnic and they just bring a bottle of wine and they sit in the city center with a bottle of wine and some glasses which they brought from home and drink it. And it is legal, you know, it's totally normal, which really shocked me because uh, where I grew up, it was totally prohibited to drink alcohol in public. But in Germany, it seems like it's uh, really common. I also think so that it is actually um, for all types of alcohol. So you can just buy something, and especially if you just want to save some money, don't go to a fancy bar or restaurant to drink something and the weather is good you just grab a beer or radla or some other drinks yeah. go to a park sit there drink it and you will see there are a lot of people who already <laughs> do it it's yes, actually quite common especially in in, in your student um, time uh, university time when you um, go when you celebrate your birthday then you invite um, all your students um, friends into the park and then there you drink and mm -hmm. dance and um, that's quite common so um, because uh, yeah of course yeah. only in summertime so I springtime mean, yeah, yeah. you can save a lot of money because like one bottle of beer in the supermarket like any one any um, bottle of beer that we bought today costs like one euro or one euro fifty cents so it's really cheap and if you um, just order a glass of um, of beer in a restaurant or a beer garden or anywhere it costs like four euros fifty I would say is a standard mm -hmm. sometimes even more sometimes we pay like six euros if it is an expensive place so it's like five or six mo times more expensive than you can just buy in the supermarket and yeah ten out of ten ten of ten what's better this one or this one For me, they taste really similar. For me, this is like 100 times better. Really? For me, not. I would say I can... I like this taste both. more like lemon. Like Ah, yeah, it's a little lemon. bit more fresh yeah, mm. than this one. But this one is also good. And this one also has 45% of beer in it and 55% of um, lemon lemonade. <laughs> Yeah, but it's also fine. I like it. So this is a ten, and this is a, a nine, a eight, <laughs> an eight. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video until the end, and we hope that we gave you a little bit an insight of German beer culture. And yeah, smash that like button and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and bye bye.